this is a cylindrical shell method problem the revolution axis i put the that on the x-axis so if you look at the graph there is a spinning symbol on the x-axis so for horizontal revolution axis the integral is a dy integral first of all we have y equals to x to 3 over 2 y equals to a in yellow and x equals to 0 in blue so we have a region bounded by these three functions but one thing you have to pay attention to is we will be using a dy integral so when you do the graph you have to graph x equals to some y so you take the given function function y equals to x raised to 3 over 2 and then you raise both sides by 2 third power so and then you have x equals to y raised to 2 over 3 power and then you get a curve right now if this problem is a this or washes if i ask you to use the this or washes method then this problem will be a dx integral but since we are focusing on the shell method then we will use the dy integral so what is the concept of the shell method take a look at the the rectangle right there so you have the integral from a to b 2 pi r times high and then either dy or dx so since this is a dy problem the a and the b will be in y so the 2 pi r the 2 pi r is the base of the rectangle and then the height the height is the function sometimes we use top minus bottom to measure the height sometimes we use right minus left depending on the problem and then the dy dx so once you have 2 pi r times h do we agree that we have a 2 d rectangle so take a look at the picture of the rectangle is two-dimensional once you mention the dx or dy you have to add some thickness to the rectangle so the 2d rectangle becomes three-dimensional and then how big is this rectangle the rectangle goes from y equals to a to y equals to b all right let's start so first thing first we will have to draw a rectangle using the midpoint rule method so i'm going to pick a point anywhere between zero and y equals to zero and y equals to eight and then you take that point as a midpoint and then that is how you sketch your rectangle so this is my rectangle okay and then where is my revolution axis that is on the x-axis so first thing first you will have to figure out the radius so what is the radius the radius is any y value in the region add to the revolution axis so that will be any y minus zero so this is any y between it shouldn't use the word between any y in the region minus zero what is that zero that is the x-axis which is y equals to zero so that is the radius and then we have what we have the height so the height then this time will be the right function minus the left function so right minus left then this will be right minus left so that will be y to the two third minus zero so this is x equals to y raised to two third and then minus x equals to zero so now we have the radius with the height we are ready to roll so we have the volume equals to a is zero right so we have y equals to zero to y equals to eight and then two pi r so two pi times the radius and then times the height minus zero and then this is a dy integral right so that is the integral that finds the volume using the shell method and then we can do a couple what if so the first what if that i would like to do is what if the, the revolution axis is right here look at the orange dash line so what if the revolution axis is right there so let's say that is y equals to 17 and then let's do one more uh what if the revolution axis is down here the green dash line so that is let's say uh that is y equals to negative negative one negative how about negative four how's that so if i place the revolution axis on y equals to 17 and one in y equals to negative four how does that change the integral that is what we have to find out in the next part 
So let me copy and paste this picture. So I am going to copy this picture and then paste down here. So I can just work on that. So let's take care of the orange line first. So orange line. So we have y equals to 17. Then what is the radius? Then the radius is equals to any y in the region subtract 17 or 17 subtract any y. So the radius is 17 subtract any y in the region. So that is y equals to 17 minus any y in the region because you have to use a bigger y minus the small y. So any y between 0 and 8 is a smaller y, right? 17 is way bigger than that. So you use 17, subtract that to make the radius positive. And then the height, the height is always right minus left. So the right curve minus the left curve. So that is equals to y to the two third minus 0. So this is x equals to y raised to 2 the minus x equals to 0, the blue line. So everything is ready. Now I can set up my volume. So the volume is equals to y goes from 0 to 8, right? 0 to 8. And then we have 2 pi radius, 17 minus y, and then times the height, 2 the minus 0, and this is dy. How about the green one, negative 4? So the radius, so this time will be any y, right? So this will be any y minus negative 4. So any y in the region minus y equals to negative 4. And then the height, what is the height? The height is the right curve minus the left curve. So no change, 2 third minus 0. And then the volume is equals to integral from 0 to 8, and then you have 2 pi, and then y minus negative 4, and then times the height, which is y to the 2 third minus 0, and then dy. Once again, do not simplify this, do not simplify the integrand. If you want to simplify, write another line, because a couple days from now, when you come back to visit your notes, I want you to know exactly what you wrote in the past. All right, so that is the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, share the video for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. See you all in the next problem. Signing off for now.